I am going insane. The membership for live. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose and I mostly make and sell scrunchies, macrame, home decor and glassware. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of market prep. So I've got a little event this weekend in Stamford and as far as I'm aware, it's a new duo of organisers who are hoping to start organising events in the area. So I wanted to give it a go and I'm going to be going with my friend Elizabeth who owns Nut Brown Jewellery. We're just going to give it a go, see how we get on because it would be really cool to have some new organisers in the area. Area. I've had an interesting morning so I just want to very quickly thank a few people. First of all I want to thank Katie who has joined our tiers and our membership. She's joined the Fauna family membership and I am so grateful. Katie is lovely. She's absolutely incredible. I have met her in person a few times and she very kindly attended one of our events and she is a small business owner herself so I will leave the link to her information down below so like her website and Instagram and things like that. She creates the most beautiful pieces. I'll leave some on the screen for you. So Katie thank you you so much. I'm so grateful. I can't believe you've joined it. I'm so happy to have you join us. And then secondly, I would like to thank Angela and Eve for putting in some orders last night. I am so grateful. So I will package them up in a second. Before this intro gets too long, my family members might know this depending on when this video goes live, but I have just had my doctor's appointment with the hospital in regards to my ADHD and things like that and it's official. <laughs> it's on my doctor's notes. I've had the full confirmation, the test, the final examination. Oh, there's a monk jack. Monk's jack? Munt jack? So cute. I forgot what I was saying, but they were looking into if it was autism or either of the types of ADHD. It's not autism and it is definitely both types of ADHD. So I've talked about that a little bit more in a bonus video over on the memberships. Um, so if you wanted to join that, it'll be on the fauna tier. So all the information for that is down below. But yeah, I couldn't not tell you guys that because I do share a lot of things with you guys. So yeah, that's where we're at with that. We'll see what they can do. I just thought I'd update you. But shall we package some orders? Let's get my desk cleared of my laptop and stuff. So let's have a really good week. We have Eve's order. She's gone for the beautiful Veronica scrunchie. This is such a gorgeous order. And the lovely Clover Rissler. I'm running low on these. I'm gonna have to make some more, but this is one of my favorite prints as well. So Eve, thank you so much for your order. That's such a cute combo, isn't it? And then Angela's gone for a really beautiful neutral mix. I think these all look so cute together. So we've got the Bailey Mini, which is this beautiful like taupey color or gray as I call it and the Joyce this one's named after both my grandmas which is a really beautiful goldy color and then the Cleo which is a gorgeous creamy color and this is named after our rescue kitten and then we've got the Brook I love this so much which is a lovely brown tartan one this is like one of the shop faves so that is for Angela so guys thank you so much let's get these parceled up
they are all packaged up. Eve, I'm so sorry. Your label is very wonky. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I'll get them to the post office on my way to work. But I'm going to tackle some mystery scrunchies because we're running very low. When I say very low, we may not actually have any left. So I cut this pile of fabric the other day and I've got out six of each one to turn into mystery scrunchies. I'm going to have a quick nosy through my box of old fabric, scrap fabric that I use for mystery scrunchies and see if there's anything I want to add to it. But I definitely want to do six of each of these. But they're both different types of fabric, so this has a stretch to it. And I have a bad feeling this won't sew because I've got a crate of fabric that my sewing machine just cannot sew no matter what I try and I'm pretty sure it is this fabric. So we shall see. Guys, I'm so excited. Look what's here. Black Hearts jewellery. So Black Hearts jewellery is one of my favourite, favourite jewellery small businesses. Millie who owns it is absolutely amazing. And this one that I never take off, it's on my wrist permanently. I've got quite a bunch of her pieces now. She does chainmail pieces and yeah, this one I absolutely adore. Alex has one whenever he's not in work. It's straight behind his wrist. He absolutely loves it. I've got a chain from her. What else have I got? A necklace from her. And I just had to treat myself to some more goodies. They are all made to order. They're all handmade. And obviously it's chainmail. It takes hours. So if you are expecting a piece at your door the day after you order it, this is not the business for you. But if you want to wait for some incredible, incredible pieces, you should definitely check her out. Honestly, she's amazing. So there's a little business card. Oh, I'm so excited. Look, it's got a little sticker there. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool. This is the barbed wire piece. It is so cool. I might have to leave some photos on the screen because my camera's struggling a little bit with the focus at the minute. And then I also got this I just couldn't resist. It's a little daisy chain. Look at that. My camera's really struggling. There we go. Look, here's a little flower, a chainmail flower. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, this poor camera is struggling, but look at it, it's so pretty. It's amazing, honestly, go and check her out because her stuff's so cool. She's got so much patience, bless her. I don't know how she does it. Haha, <laughs> Millie, thank you so much. Thank you for being so talented. It's so cool. Oh, I love it so much. Ah, amazing, love. Love, love. So if you want to go and support Millie, I would 100% recommend having a nosy at her chain male jewellery. She does earrings, accessories, boot charms, bracelets, necklaces, loads of different things, and they are beautiful. I do need to crack on with some work. So what fabrics are we going to go for today? Those three fabrics will do for now.
had some lunch and I've managed to sew up those 12 scrunchies. I'm gonna assume you could tell from the time lapse I first took, but I was struggling so much with the first lot of fabric. So for some reason, my sewing machine just did not want to sew. But we got there in the end, so these took a painful amount of time. And this was the fabric I wasn't worried about, but they look so cute and kind of regretting not turning these into just limited edition normal scrunchies because they look so cute. Like a gorgeous floral vintage pattern. Six of them are done. And then six of these ones are done as well. And this one sewed like a dream. I'm going to cut up the rest of this stuff here, see what we can get out of this. So as you would have just seen, I'm in the process of parceling up the mystery scrunchies, managed to get quite a few done. I only got one of the leopard print shiny ones done because there wasn't enough fabric, but that's fine. But I just forgot that I needed to print off some more of the No Waste Mystery scrunchie stickers that just briefly explain what they are. So there is a few that I have bagged up that don't have them on. So I'm just gonna quickly print some more of those off. Bunch of mystery scrunchies all made up. How many do we have? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-six. An extra twenty-six made up, which is absolutely amazing because you guys seem to love these. They go down a tree at markets, so I'm glad that's one thing out of the way. But depending on what time it is, I might actually have to go to the post office and go to work. So I might have to catch you guys later. <laughs> guys i didn't really film anything yesterday i don't think so i'm sorry about that and i'm being very dramatic today <laughs> i'm freezing so i've put my big hoodie thing on if only i could wear this to like work work <laughs> but i've done a little bit of editing i've also done some more preparation for the memberships launching tomorrow which is so scary but so exciting but i can't remember which i know is quite bad i've had quite a busy week who i've already thanked for joining the memberships i'm pretty sure i mentioned katie who very kindly joined the other day from Elo Mello studios absolutely amazing we did get another member join us the lovely julia julia s has been a massive supporter of fauna rose and me and the channel and everything i am so so grateful so julia thank you so much for joining the faunas here i am blown away by all of your support since I started this journey. So thank you so much for joining us. Again, I really hope you enjoy the content. I'm so nervous. I've scheduled a bunch of posts, so the little introduction podcast is gonna go live. That is for the flora and the fauna tier. There is the discount codes. They're all ready to go, so the posts with them on are good to go. The mini bonus video is already ready. That's all ready to go. That's gonna go live on the Sunday. Thank you so much, Julia, for joining that. I've also got a couple of orders that I am very excited to parcel up. So the lovely Erin has ordered all the way from America. Erin has gone for a really cool collection of scrunchies and I am so grateful, Erin. Thank you so much. We've got the Nova Mini. Are these all minis? I think they're all minis. So the Nova, the Olive, the Daphne, the Lauren, the Stella, the Alex, the Zoe, the Miley, the Serena, the Clara, the Jess and the Allison. Thank you so much, Erin. So I will be packaging that up shortly. I also realized I might split this video into two parts because it might end up being a bit long because I am supposed to be prepping for a market on Saturday, but 
there's been barely any market prep but erin that's a, such an amazing order i will get that packaged up soon so the next order i want to say ulrika if that is wrong ulrika i'm so sorry i don't want to butcher your name thank you so so much for your order all the way from germany they've ordered the emerald mini the celestial glass can cup the sapphire mini nova mini dan da -da 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 -da. Danny Mini and Daphne Mini. So thank you so much, lovely. I am so grateful to international orders, which is really exciting. But what I'm gonna do first, while I'm sat down and being lazy and comfy, is I'm gonna do some sewing. I did sit and cut up a bunch of fabric yesterday, but unfortunately, I am going insane when it comes to this fabric. It is driving me mad. I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Quick rant. I think I've mentioned this before on the channel, but I could be wrong. This is my aqua scrunchie. I could not get the same match for this again. So when I went onto my supplier and I could see the history of what I had bought, like my order history, when I then tried to rebuy it, the photo was then a different colour. So I had a quick look through the colours and the name of a different one looked more like the photo of the original one I bought. So I rebought the same one because I was like, well, this is apparently the one I bought in the past, let's rebuy it. And it came and it was completely different. So I was like, hmm, maybe if I go and buy the one that looks like the original fabric, that will be that and they've just changed the names. Instead that, it arrived completely different colour. So I put another order in and I'm going to hope that it comes and it's a close match again because that is such a popular colour. Sorry, I just need to get that off my chest. Let's do some sewing. time and I'm crammed in the corner of the office by the door so I'm going to quickly get these orders packaged up so I'm going to do Erin's first so I've got your name card and the business card ready to go Erin did land on a freebie so I'm going to throw in one of the market exclusive ones so let's pan you down that's all of Erin's scrunchies how cute is that order so let's get these packaged up Erin if you do watch this I don't have any freebie stickers currently and I sadly don't have time to get any more made up so if you're wondering what this one is it's a little freebie Next we have Ulrika's order. So again, if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm so sorry, lovely. But she's gone for the Celestial Glass Can Cup. So we've got a straw there. The Nova Mini, Sapphire Mini, Danny Mini, Emerald Mini and Daphne Mini. So let's get this packaged up.
There we go, all packaged up. Thank you so much, Erin and Ulrika. I'm so grateful. So I just need to get some shipping labels purchased for you. Get them sent off to the post office. I'm pushing it for time. I need to leave in like five minutes, so hopefully I can get this done. Good morning, guys. I don't know if you can hear that outside, but there is quite a storm raging out there, which is lovely. But this is what I've been doing this morning. So I sat and cut a bunch of the threads up of some of the scrunchies I've been sewing up. So we've got Stella's, a few Jessies in here, Rory's, just a mix of patterned ones really. And then also this morning I sat and added the elastic to the final pattern scrunchies that I've got left. So I'm just going to sew these up and then I am considering leaving this video here and then doing the actual rest of today and the market and stuff tomorrow and the weekend in like a part two which will either be Friday or the following week. But I just want to quickly say the membership's alive. So so scary and so exciting. I know they've technically been live for a short while for people to join but they've actually gone live in terms of content so the podcast has gone out there which is really exciting. There's a bonus video going live for the top tier on Sunday. Really exciting but let me get my sewing machine ready. I'm going to put some headphones on and I'm going to quickly get all these sewn up. they're all cut up and ready to go so i am gonna leave this video here sorry there wasn't a load of market related stuff but this is just me slowly creeping towards prepping for a market thank you so so much for watching if you could give it a massive thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you aren't all the social media including the website for fauna rose is linked down below if you want to head on over there and check it out if you want to become a family member and join the memberships i do have three different tiers and if you sign up you can receive a bunch of extra content but apart from that i'll catch you guys in part two bye <laughs> Oh,